Hey, yeah. Hope you're doing well. We're back in beta again. Looks like we have some neighbors outside who will have to be dispatched. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. No soliciting. Oh, this is kind of, <laughs> this is kind of a dangerous situation. Um. I tried the golden quiver that we found, and it indeed provides unlimited arrows, but the arrows do like a third as much damage, so I don't know if it's really worth it in the long run. But maybe in certain situations we can use it. Anyway, welcome back. I figure today, uh, well first I'd like to zoom out this map. A commenter kindly told me that I need to surround it with paper to zoom out. Um, so I, let's make some paper. I'm gonna take this secret escape route that I have in case things are surrounded like that. Yeah, get him. Get him, cow. Okay. So let's grab some of this sugar canes. Hey, you're not supposed to be alive. I thought, oh my gosh, another one. So I've done, I've done a little bit of uh, like home improvement, I guess, since last time. I just kind of added this. I don't know what. <laughs> Patio. Um, this kind of protected area up there. I had this little stream and pond. Just felt like this area was begging for it. And you'll see that I've used some of this mossy cobblestone as decoration that we got from that weird dungeon thing. And I did a terrible job of explaining it in the last episode, but. The, the glitch with the sheep is you get only one wool for killing them and you obviously get more for shearing them but there's a glitch in this version where if you uh, kill them you'll get the one wool but you can also shear them if you're quick enough if you try to shear their like their dead body like before the entity fades away you can get even more wool so that's, I don't think, for some reason that totally slipped my mind in the last video, but that was the glitch I was talking about. Or maybe not even glitch, maybe exploit or oversight, whatever. So let's see if this works. What? Have I been lied to? <laughs> Have I been fake news? Of course, that person could have been right, but they might have changed it for this better than adventure. Is there no way to zoom out? Mm. Mm. What are you supposed to do here? There's, um, there's got to be a way to zoom out, like, I'm almost positive. Let 
Let me see if I can look it up real quick. You know, I don't think you can actually zoom out maps. I think they added that later. So, joke's on me, I guess. So we'll just explore this one as it is. Uh, let me get rid of some of this that we don't really need. That doesn't go in there. That goes in the building supplies. We definitely need to expand storage sooner rather than later, but for now it's good enough. Okay. Maybe, well, I can find food on the road if I need to. Alright, where's the boat? So let's go north. It's not already getting dark, is it? Where's the sun? Okay, it's about midday. Are you still not dead? I thought. Okay. I don't know why the boat keeps drifting out there. So I hope you all enjoyed the last video where I kind of checked out that ASMR craft server. Um, I doubt I'll make any more videos on it, but maybe if I... I don't know, really get invested in it, I might. Um, but I don't think I'm going to get really too invested in it unless you, some of you do. Uh, then I'll really have more of an excuse to kind of interact with the people I already, you know, kind of know in a, like, a parasocial way. Parasocial way. Um, but if not, then... I might get on every now and again just to play around and say hi to people. I don't know, I, get, I touched on this in that video, but I just don't really know anyone, so I kind of feel like an outsider, and more so than that, um, there's already so many other series going on on this channel that if, I don't know if I can just make time for something else like that. And they all, like, it seems like they all put a lot of time into that server, and I just feel woefully inadequate, because I can't really put that much time in. And even more so, like, if I, you know, unless that Patreon server crashes and burns, that's going to be a thing at some point, and that's going to be almost identical in concept to the ASMR craft server. So that's 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 the scoop on that. Again, I could I could change my mind. I might play more on it. I did hop on again this morning just to kind of see what was up. Um, and yeah, but again, it would be fun to kind of form a little community on there if some of you decide to join it. Totally up to you. Uh, I'm not. I'm not really bothered one way or the other. I didn't bring a bed. Oh my gosh. But just let me know if you do. For now though, let's play some beta. Let's... I don't know. <laughs> I should have brought a bed. I'm so dumb. <gasps> Doggies. Hi puppies. I had bones to give you. I wish there was a cave I could go into for the night and do some mining. I really don't feel comfortable being out at night. It's funny that I feel so much less safe in beta. Ooh, ooh I like this area. I feel so much less safe in beta than I do in modern. This is 
kind of some cool terrain over here. Very, oh, very beta y. Well, let's. Hey, maybe this is a cave we can look at. sort of be a rudimentary shelter for the night. Does this go anywhere? Looks like that might have collapsed on a cave down there. Maybe we should dig down. So we're gonna let's set up a little bit of a a uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Outpost. bad boy. Nice. So let's dig down. Maybe there's a cave or something. Because it looked like that sand collapsed in on something. Obviously it could be nothing. could just be... So, oh, see, I told you. Excellent. Coal is a very welcome sight. Coal seems to be much more scarce in beta. I don't know if that's actually true, but I've already like the coal I had with me was all I've I had to my name. <laughs> they never turned down iron either, so I'll take some of that. Is that all there was? home. Oh, that's dangerous for sure. What the heck? It's bricks. There's bricks. Guys, there's bricks. <laughs> okay, wait. Let me get this first. Man, that is <laughs> that's anxiety inducing right there. There's a skeleton I heard. Wait, I don't want these shears out. That's right, eat lead. Or f feathers. <laughs> Give me your arrow. Okay, what is this thing? This is definitely not in vanilla beta. So is this a dungeon? It can't be a dungeon. What the heck is this? Oh, it is a dungeon. What kind? I just think it's just a zombie one, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Which means there's gotta be treasure in here. Maybe. See, so I know you can't really see. Okay, wait, let me go back and make some more shovels. Okay, I hear bad things, so let's be careful. Come oh, on, where's your treasure? Reveal your secrets. Maybe I'll just... Do a bit of this. Oh, I'm being pushed around so much. And I'll definitely be gathering these bricks at some point since it's such a... scarce resource. There's the booty. 
in the saddle. Alright, cool find. <laughs> Here a chicken. It's the elusive cave chicken. actually. Spooky. The vibes. The vibes are off. Who said that? And this is what I'm talking about. You always just hear random footsteps in beta. It's, it's no wonder that the Herobrine mythos really took hold during this time. It's like everything about this game is so set up for that kind of, you know, creepypasta to exist. It's always almost destined to be so. better stay away. I'm armed. Armed and dangerous. Gosh, it's just so eerily quiet. And I realize part of that is, is in comparison to my better Minecraft series had ambient sounds installed with some kind of mod. So nothing was ever really quiet. But in this, in this, things can be dead quiet. And that's even worse. And then you get a, like one of those spooky cave sounds, and it's game over. <laughs> oh gosh, I hear a lot of things. I'm gonna plug this up. That must be the outside. A lot of good stuff down here, though. So I don't mind spending the night. Don't have to worry about phantoms or anything ridiculous like that. That's a lot of iron. Gimme, gimme, gimme. What is this weird, like, tessellation effect on the torch? Do y'all see that? Isn't my monitor doing that? That's weird. Was, it, was that just how beta was? No, I, I doubt it. They kind of like... Pixelated aura. <laughs> it's like have you ever seen those pictures online where if it shows you what you know street lights look like at night to a normal person, and then what they look like to someone with astigmatism. And um, I have astigmatism. And so, growing up, I never knew, like, that's not how things should look. <laughs> you know, with these huge rays of light stretching out from light sources. I mean, I know better now, and... Yeah, but it's just kind of one of those eye-opening experiences. If you, if you aren't aware that you have something that other people don't, because reality is such a subjective experience as much as we like to um, imagine that it is not you know, to 
people can be in the same room and ex be experiencing entirely different things. And in a similar kind of sense, two people can grow up in the exact same household with the exact same parents and the exact same childhood. And, you know, one person will perceive their childhood as being really troubled and maybe even traumatic, while their sibling may think it was a really happy, wonderful childhood. So it's just, um, I don't know, I bet many of you have, who have siblings can relate to that. Because our, our perception of things shapes our reality more than reality itself, almost, sometimes. Anyway, that, that was a... <laughs> was a weird philosophical tangent. Let's just say I have personal experience with that and I don't really want to go into it any further. But instead, let's mine coal. We're getting a... Ooh, we're getting a new pickaxe soon. I think we'll head back up to the surface after this vein and carry on with our map revelation project. sun's up. Okay, let's pack up and leave. Hope I didn't waste too much of the day. Alright, which direction? You know, I bet we can slap our boat down. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there's a skeleton drive-by. Man, I'm digging this terrain, I tell you what. I tell you what. Okay, look. Can we talk about this? I swear, that spider's eyes was changing colors. Or were changing colors. Look at this, guys. Holy cow. You know, the ter I've, I said before I really like the terrain generation in modern Minecraft, but there's something just fantastical and whimsical about um, beta generation that I miss as well. I don't necessarily think it's better, but it's, it's got a certain nostalgia for me, I think. Because you don't re really find wild generation like that unless you mess with your world gen settings. You know, granted, you can get some pretty impressive generation in a different way than you can in beta. And things are much more grand in modern, right? Because there's so much more, so many more white levels to work with. All right, this looks like more of the same, just lots of birch. How do you tell birch and aspen apart? I mean, in real life. Don't, aren't aspens white also? Or maybe they're not, and I'm just dumb. Alright, this looks like this is a corner of the map, so we'll take a turn. So let me tell you what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to go into the files of this, the default texture pack, and add my own painting. And I'm going to make the painting the downloaded PNG of this map and mark where home is a little more distinctly so that we have a way of hanging our maps on the wall even though we don't have item frames. I think that's a pretty cool idea. And I might do that with other things as well because you can do you know, whatever you want with paintings, pretty much. Alright, looks like we're about halfway around this map. Oh, there's home, okay. Let's go this way. Lots of ocean around here. 
So I, when I was looking to see how to zoom out a map, I read that rather than being chunk-based, maps always center around wherever you craft them from, which is why my house is in the middle, because that's where I crafted it. So that'll be important to keep in mind if we want to make more maps. Okay, let's get out here. And man, what a godsend it is that the Better Than Adventure, like, Im improves the, um, oh yeah, I went out here and chopped wood. <laughs> uh, it improves how boats work because boats are just unbearably buggy in normal beta Minecraft. Like, it's, it's absurd. But I think I mentioned that in the first video. Hello, piggies. Oh man, no one has leprosy. What's this brown bit? This, oh, this might be scorched dirt. What am I seeing up here? Yeah, it's scorched dirt, okay. Oh, I just remembered I need to uh, transfer the to-do board over and all the items that were on it. And I got a request to make like a zen garden. So I need to add that to the board. I just keep forgetting. So sorry about that. I don't want to do something with this scorched dirt. It's got a very nice color to it. I'm sure I can if you can make like bricks out of it like you can sandstone. I don't know. I'll have to find out. The sun's going down already. If I had wool, I could make a bed. I thought I had one wool. No, I do not. Any sheeps want to sacrifice themselves for the cause? Uh oh, things could get sticky here. I need a sheep. Can't believe I didn't bring a bed. How dumb am I? spawning. Retreat. Right. <laughs> we're, we're taking cover, guys. Oh boy. Alright. Let me cook up some of this iron. be back in a minute. It is nice not to have to worry about food if you're not, uh, you know, if you're not low on health. Because normally just existing would make me hungry. So I guess I'm just kind of doing a bit of strip mining until the morning. Pretty exciting stuff, I know. Um, don't even need to make any armor. I'm gonna need to ditch some stuff. Maybe I'll leave a little goodie box here for if I ever decide to swing back around. Mm, 
farm. I need to make a farm. I can do that in the next episode. This episode is just going to be focused on the map. Alright, well, I won't make you sit around and wait with me. Okay, I think it's getting light-ish, so we're just going to make a run for it. We're going to fully utilize our time here. Oh gosh, go. Alright. On the road again. Looks like we can swing up, take this little inlet up here to reveal this little bit of the map. No pixel unturned. Okay. Right. On this way. It would be cool to do a uh, stylized drawing of this map. I did that one. Uh, oh, what's that red dot? I did that one map drawing video. Is it just because there's so many roses? Holy moly. Oh no, is this lava? I think that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine there were so many roses that it made a, an entire one of these pixels red. Apparently, in the Minecraft history lore, there used to be a cyan flower. Uh, I don't know if that was like just pocket edition or bedrock or what um I can't remember what video I saw that in but oh yes whoa okay you can make a bed now if it comes if it comes to it there's just a few stray pixels up here I want to reveal gonna say sorry this is boring but well, it's kind of the point of, <laughs> of ASMR I hope it's relaxing I guess that's what I mean and not too mundane here we go all right those pixels are good let's do a u-turn hello mr. squids Looks like there's a nice, convenient little river here. You can sneak right through these land masses. Okay. Let's get these pixels over here. Here we go. A little bit down here in this corner. Here we go. Whoop, there we go. And some pumpkins. Lots of clay I'll have to come get. Is this ice? Uh oh, this is ice. Oh yeah, that reminds me where I built my house. Whenever it snows, because again, there's seasons. It only snows on half of the house, and it really bothers me for some reason. So, I <laughs> guess that was. could have been planned better on my part, but whatever. Looks like some piles of snow here. Alright. Now I think BTA adds its own cherry blossom biome, or whatever it's called, with like these really beautiful pink trees. So that'll be interesting to find one of those. Maybe we can make some cool structures with that. Oh, hey, here's our starter house. <laughs> Told you it's the same world. Okay, let's clear out all 
all these pixels and then we can head home. Maybe I should, I think I'll name these three major land masses. I think that would be fun. If you all have any naming suggestions, um, let me know. I'd like them to be kind of fantasy y. <laughs> um, but if I don't get any, I'll just name them myself. There we go. Head down to this corner over here. Excuse me. I was gonna say misses, but they made the the cows. Uh, what's the word? Hermaphroditic, because <laughs> they have both udders and horns, which means they're both cow and bull. Wow. I like this bay here. Wow. Holy moly. I don't know what it is, but it really speaks to me. Definitely have to build here in the future. Oh, and we're off the map. Wait. Which way is north? Okay, this way. sneak around the outside of this. Here we go. And we'll have to go on land to get those last few pixels. There we go. Almost done, everyone. Then we'll have a good idea of our surroundings, and again, I can make a painting out of this so that we can effectively hang our map on the wall. And that way, if we for some reason lose this map, we'll still have the knowledge we gained from it, if you will. Alright, let's head home toward the center. It's interesting also that they don't, they change the recipe for maps to not need a compass. And on the note of compasses, what I really like about this is if I hit F3, you don't get any coordinate data, uh, you don't get any time data. And see, it says hold a compass for more information, hold a clock for more information, and hold a rotary calendar. So if you want to see your position, or the time, or the, the month, you have to actually craft those items and have them with you, which I think is an awesome... Uh, tweak that they made, you know, it really gives them more of a purpose to the, both the clock and the compass. So I'm glad they did that. Because even though it's not cheating, the F3 menu has always felt a little, I don't know, exploity, even though I do use it, and I don't have a problem with people who use it, it's always just felt... Maybe not exploity, but maybe immersion breaking is the right word, if that makes sense. You know, it's like it's like something that you really weren't supposed to find or something, like like a developer console almost. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Alright, here we are back home. I'm gonna end the video here, but I just remembered I didn't show you little decoration I added upstairs, which I'll definitely need to add more of. Actually, did I show any of this? I started on this little, like, <laughs> kitchen. I made this kind of, like, modern glass table. I was gonna make a chair. I haven't done that yet. Um, still not done, obviously, and then I need to do more work up here, but I had this idea for a couch using these beds. I think that looks pretty comfy, cozy. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope to see you again in the next video.